Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Uh, today I wanted to share a binder that I put together. This is a personal rings recollection planner that um, I was watching uh, Mom Needs a Clone and I will link her video below that inspired this binder. Um, if you've watched my videos for a while, you know that whenever I get a, a, an itch or an inkling to create something new in a different size, in a different journal or um, cover, that I tend to recreate what I already have. So um, I've done that with my faith. Um, I know I don't do it with my main planner. My planner stays the same. But what I consider this is a brain dump or an idea notebook. So um, watch her video and then she has broken down by her own uh, topics. And so what I did before I put this together is I have uh, this A6 and I got this from the Dollar Tree. It's a... Um, Kind of, um, it's my brain dump notebook. So anytime I just want to jot stuff down, this is what I use. But I wanted to write down topics that I would um, have ideas or want to document my ideas. Not necessarily plans and not necessarily keep it as a reference notebook. My office is in the basement. So if I were to go upstairs and I just wanted a place to jot down ideas about whatever, it, I would take this. Now, I can easily use a notebook. This is just an extra in case I want to use something in rings. I like to recreate things because sometimes I just want to use rings. Sometimes I like to just use my little notebook. Sometimes I want to use like a bound book. Um, it, it, sometimes I want to use something in a pocket size. It all depends on the mood of the day. So this is not something that I would use every day. It will go on my shelf. Um, so if ever I want to use it and I plan to use it this week, but sometimes I just like to put it up and then use something else. I really, um, really know where I put all my information. It's just a matter of, you know, using what I like to use at the time. Um, so I felt creative yesterday and I wanted to create something. And um, also if you watch um, Monique Smith here on YouTube, she just created, we were talking on Instagram, messaging back and forth. And so she also created um, a faith uh, binder. So go check her out. Hers is more of a TN style. I will also link her video below. Um, but we had fun talking back and forth and seeing what we were going to create. So this is what I came up with and thought I'd share it with you. Now, again, this is not my reference binder. This is kind of like a brain dump. I, I will call it like an idea notebook. This is my reference. Um, this is my goes in companion to my planner, which is a B6 Slim Nanami. This is a reference binder. And this is where I keep basically any list, anything for family, anything for home, anything that um, is already kind of set in stone, this is where it will be kept. This is just a, an area where I can just write and add ideas. So let's get started. And again, um, again, this is based on Mom Needs a Clone. So what she did is she used everything that... Um, you know, basically used up her stash. And that's exactly what I did. And I have two bins with personal inserts. And so the thing with me, it takes me a while to do this. So Monique was done in hers, <laughs> with hers quickly. Um, with me, I put on a couple of movies. I like to watch YouTube and kind of contemplate and put things together. And I really uh, had a relaxing time. So this is kind of like notebook therapy for me to put something together. So in the beginning here in the front, um, I did have this from my previous setup. So I just left that in there because it's pink. And I also want to integrate faith. I always integrate faith with whatever I do. So um, I did uh, glue in this Target dollar spot uh, pocket. And I added 
some journaling cards that I've had for years. I put some vellum in there. It says, you make my heart sing. And that's basically, it's foiled there. And that's basically, I, I you know, to me, that equates to God. So this one is stop and smell the peonies. Sometimes I need that to tell me to slow down because sometimes I just go, go, go. And so that'll stay there and I can switch them out. And I, I just have a large journaling card back here. It had foil and is encouraging. So I just thought it'd be, you know, some nice decor. This right here is just a, a piece of acetate and I just cut. Um, I have non-heated laminating sheets that you, you kind of put a sheet and then just glue them together. I've had those for years. And so what I did is I just cut the laminating, you know, the acetate part out and then use them for my binder. <laughs> I thought that would be the easiest thing. So this is just on some post-its in case I want to jot like a quick note and then I can add it to my uh, specific section at a later time. And it's just a small piece of acetate because I don't need a full sheet for, you know, post-its. This is just Hello Today. I believe this is from, I think, Webster's Pages. I just had it and so... Um, piece of vellum you are capable of amazing things now I did try to include things that were encouraging also and I'm mainly a functional planner so I don't have die cuts and I don't have all that you know pretty pretty what do you call consider pretty planning um, I love to watch all that I just never um, taking the time to really I don't know um, pick all that out. I know I buy stickers and I use them mainly for my faith. Um, so I tried at my best to pretty this up with what I have. Um, and I can always go back and, you know, add stickers maybe to my inserts, um, the back of my dividers, but <laughs> I didn't have time for that. So this side is just vellum and I have, um, I generally don't put family pictures, but for this one I did. Um, I had some old pictures of all my family in um, a Hobonichi weeks. And so I took them apart and then I put them in there. And these are just some uh, pictures that I got from, actually I, uh, Monique had these on her Instagram. And so I took a snapshot and then I added them there. I don't have a color printer. So I thought they went well together. This is my favorite image um, when my hair used to be that way. <laughs> um, and this is just a little pocket in case I want to add some stickers. Nothing bulky, but this is what I have for now from a shop that gave me some stickers as a thank you many years ago. I've never used them. This is just some acetate. I found uh, These are from little post-its that I got from Dollar General some time ago, and I thought they were pretty. And this is more um, acetate and some um, just post-its, just cute post-its. Now all my tabs that I made here, I made with my, is my Dymo. It's just one of those, you know, old school ones that I got from Amazon. And I just thought it went well with the pink. And so I try to keep you know, uh, again, the dashboard's meaningful to me. So think big. These are just notes and vellum. And just, this is just plain copy paper. And I don't mind writing in plain copy paper because when it's just notes, I don't know. I just never felt like I really want to, let me bring you down just a little, you know, um, use more expensive or expensive inserts. So, because this is, I'm just going to throw away. And then this one says, take time to do what makes your soul happy. So a lot of these are recollection dividers. These were, I bought them in clearance some time ago. So you'll see a lot of those throughout this planner. And this is a brain dump section. I just fell on. I don't really need all this stuff. I just put it in there to pretty it up. What I call pretty it up. <laughs> There's something good in every day. So again, and I can put stickers back here at a later time. This is from a paper pack. Okay, so this is my uh, to-do. These are old recollections that I never really used. I bought these on, also on clearance. And so I never use them, so I thought I can use those for brain dump. I tend to write a lot when I brain dump. So I, this will force me to really um, narrow, you know, and cons my, consolidate my thought in a one-line item. And so therefore I can move from whatever I have here, move it to someplace else. Now I do need to add, I will add actually 
Right here, I will add a Vienna Ortiz brain dump list. I'm gonna put a pocket here and then slide that in there or maybe just wash it in. So that will help me, you know, when I need to do a brain dump. This is a YouTube and I just have a little folder here in case I need it and a little pocket. And these are just plain paper. So this year I really want to focus on my channel and so I just have some paper there. This I added in just in case that I would want to work on a project and by a project I mean more, mainly home projects. So I just added it and this is a 365 Franklin Covey little divider. You know you could slip a piece of paper in there. I can I tend to use this for anything, so I just put it in the project section in case um, there's like to-dos or something that I wanna, you know, to carry over. And this is just that. This is blank paper in case I need to add more information. And this is the calendar. Now, this is not, uh, will take the place of my planner. What I intend for this section is and these are rec recollection uh, inserts. These are plain, these are weeklies and then monthly. What I intend to do is pretty planning. So if I'm in the mood, I'm a functional planner, but sometimes I just watch YouTube videos and they're so pretty and um, I don't know, I just feel inspired to do something. This is where I would do it. So, you know, um, I will probably back plan I'm not sure what you call that, reverse planning or something, but I can go in here and add some stickers. Um, I don't know. Um, it's not my style, so I want to um, get a little more creative in that and on that aspect. So I have that. And then I have three months worth here because um, I didn't want to bulk this up. It's already bulked up enough. So I have dividers between my months. That's March, and this is April, and this is just a doily, and again, this is from a paper pack. I'm not even sure which one. This is a weekly in case um, these are free from Peanuts Planner Co., and I just put them in there just in case I wanted to use them. So you have the week, and then you have a tracker, and then you have just some boxes, and some, you know, so if I feel led to do this and I just want to brain dump kind of like my week, I already do that in my planner. But this, again, if, if I'm sitting with this and I just, when thoughts keep on coming in my head and I want to use it, it's there and available. It doesn't mean I will use it every week. It's just there when I want to use it. I got bent a little bit there. Okay, so this is um, my youngest daughter and she'll be finishing up a junior. So she'll be a senior next year. Just put... A laugh is a smile that bursts. <laughs> and um, so these are just ideas, you know, related. Again, plain copy paper. I just made it into a doc grid paper. Um, in case there's anything that I need to do for her for her senior year, graduation, um, thoughts, just ideas of what I want to do for her. We homeschool, so I really want to make sure that her senior year is a good year. This is list. I don't have anything in here. But if I wanted to create something, um, I could easily, again, when I'm using this and sometimes ideas come to my head, I can create one and then take this out and then put it in my reference binder and keep all my lists together. And I do have some to do's in case, um, in case I want to create something, you know, like a list format. This is faith. Again, faith goes with me everywhere I go and take time to do what makes your soul happy. And the heart is a great teacher. And I just have some vellum. And I just have some grid. I believe this paper is from the Miguel Ruiz uh, journal. I've, if you've done a Fobonichi years and years past, I just tore some out. <laughs> I tend to do that sometimes from a journal. Um, and I just, I love the grid and I love the paper. So I just put it in there. And this is just some grid paper from Walmart in a paper pack, and I just cut it down. And then just some notes paper. That's from that uh, Recollections paper pack from that had like to-dos. This all came together. So I don't use it, so I just put it in there. And again, that's for faith. So that would be 
I don't know uh, if I'm watching something and I just happen to have this with me, I can easily put it in that section. I can use the notes section and then move it, but I just wanted, you know, this again is a creative thing. So I just created a faith section. This section is the best dreams happen when you're awake. So I thought that would be perfect for um, Heather Baxter's fully awake studies um, on her YouTube and I will also link her below in case you're interested and I am following her and doing monthly Bible studies and I thought that would be perfect so I wanted to have believe in miracles I had again all this I already had I just put it all together in one binder and these are already pre-cut and I just took some Franklin Covey you know pages because see how I don't know if you can see but see how they're really almost like a tighter than a college ruled lines but I like that and since I write tiny I kept that there and then I have a folder back here that says you got this just in case I need to add anything and then a page lifter from Franklin Covey I do I don't have anything back here I had a notepad but it was too uh, it was just adding a little too much bulk so in case I didn't mention it I, this is a D-Ring Recollections Planner. If you look on the top, I made some holes in it. So it's kind of like a TN style. And then I just took some Franklin Covey uh, binder rings and see, I kind of strapped it in there. So it's pretty solid. It's not gonna move. And they're a little less than 1.5 inches wide. Let me see. They're 35 millimeters. So I think when I looked it up, it's like 1.38 inches wide. So it's, you know, pretty, pretty big rings for, for this binder. This pen that I have here is the Hobonichi Techo pen that you get for free when you order directly from Hobonichi website. And what I did is the ink that you get in here is a 0.5 and I like the 0.7. So one day I just pulled this apart like this and I, you know, you can just pull them and then um, add refills. And I have some 0.7 refills and I put it in there and it works fine. So in case you're wanting to use a 0.7 in this pen and it's, I don't know, it has a rubber and I like the way it feels and it's not too thick like my, this one, which is a four in one, which has the same ink and a pencil, but it's a little, sometimes a little too heavy, I notice after using this one. So this has black, blue, and red, and actually, if you want green, you can add green in there if you don't use uh, one particular color, which I was gonna use. Um, but for this one, I do not need green, I just need these basic colors. So the blue and the red I kept in 0.5, and I have the 0.7 in black. So I keep that in there, because it slides perfectly. And let me bring you back out. So that is it, and it closes. I just have to <laughs> mash this down a little bit, see how pretty chunky. I like my binders chunky. I really enjoy the recollections, you know, the size and the width. So these, my inserts are four inches wide. They follow the, the size of the recollection inserts in case I didn't mention that. Now this up here, the Webster's Pages, is um, kind of like the Filofax standard uh, personal size, which is 3.75 inches wide. The uh, recollections is four inches across. So in case you're you're wondering that, so I cut all my vellum and all my inserts to four inches wide. The Franklin Covey is four and a quarter wide. And so the Franklin Covey inserts that I use back here, I just cut that quarter inch off. Okay, so standard, um, not standard, the personal wide is 4.75 inches across but it was for me I love that size but for this four four and a quarter um I kind of enjoy in my recollection planners and the personal wide does fit in here but for this because all my you know dividers that I had were mainly four inches for the recollection that's the size I kept it in just for some cohesiveness I really don't like short long short long you know wide paper i don't know it's just that's a little a little pet peeve of mine 
So anyway, this is all I have and I wanted to share that with you. Again, this is not something I would use every day, but I had fun putting it together. And, you know, that's what's great by watching other YouTubers. You get inspired and you recreate something. And if I don't use it, it'll go on my shelf be, and it's ready to use whenever I feel, you know, led to use it. So thank you so much for watching. Please like this video. And if you're not subscribed, please do so so you can get notifications of all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.